Hi, this is Jake from Cold War Collectors, and doing a video today on setting up the Romanian Army bread bag. This is something I recently got, and I'm pretty excited about. And I think the whole setup is really cool, so I decided to make a video on it. Um, uh, for a stand-in on the shelter half, I will be using a Soviet plash palatka. I don't have the Romanian shelter have yet, but that's that. But just so you know, it is a little bit darker in color, but that's all right. Um, okay, so the bread bag was carried by all soldiers. Um, this would carry you know, your basic things as, you know, the name bread bag kind of describes. You would carry food and rations and so forth in here. Now, I have some clothes in here just to kind of give it a bit of shape. Uh, you you put, there's a big pocket here, and there's a little pocket here. Uh, see, there, there's your divider. Now, there isn't a whole lot of information that I've been able to track down yet on these. And so, I have like one picture that shows soldiers wearing the bread bag with the shelter have attached and like one where someone has the canteen in it but and, and, so the way I'm putting it together is I guess you could say it's more of a, a you know a good educated guess but it, 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 you know it's, it, there is some evidence to back it up it's just we haven't tracked it all down yet and um, I'm almost 100% in fact, I believe I am 100% certain that this is the way it would be set up if you were to wear it. But it wasn't always worn, though, because it would more than likely probably be left in the, you know, your, your APC, your BTR, your BMP. So, all right, so there, there's the two pockets, the bigger one and the smaller one. The larger one, I believe, is where you would put your food and rations and so on, personal items little one you would store extra ammo or grenades in. Now you would secure it up with this right here. And then and then once you're done there you fold it over and you would secure it with these. See if I can do it one-handed here and get it fastened. I'll set you down, make this quicker. One second. Okay, so now that that's done, you have your bird bag secure. Then you have. Then you have these four leather tabs here. Now these leather tabs would be where you put leather um, equipment straps. So you put three of them on here. Two would go over these three loops, and this is where you'd put your shelter half. It would roll up, just as I have it here, and you would place it there. In the middle is where you put the single strap, your third one, and it would attach your mess kit. So what I'm going to do here is I have my shelter half already rolled up. So it would go on top like that. And your shelter half, they rolled it a special way to where it wouldn't protrude off the side of the bag very far. Now since we don't know exactly how that is to regulations, just kind of have to make a guess. So I just have it rolled up as tightly as I can to fit, so it wouldn't be protruding really far or anything. And then you would just put your straps over it, just like that, and secure it. And I'll do that real quick, I'll put it down.
Now you have your shelter hem attached. Now for the mess kit. So what you would do first is you would bring your strap through the top and then through the bottom loop. And then through this bottom loop you go below your your handle, your carrying handle. And you bring it all the way. Oh whoops, I'm sorry. I goofed. You put it through the bottom loop first. And it still goes below the handle. And you were to cinch it up all the way to where your buckle goes between these two areas here. Now this isn't exact for certain, but based off of World War II, you know, kind of specs, which the Romans didn't change a lot of things from World War II to Cold War as far as their gear. There's quite a bit of similarities, including the bread bag and how it's set up. Um, so anyways, you put it like here. I suppose this could be more World War II German, but, you know, it, I'm sure it's about probably the same. And then you would feed it through the loops and come around. And I will do that for you right now. So there you go, now you have your mess kit attached, your shelter have attached, so let's just say your, your bread bag's all packed up with what you're going to be using. Now the final bit, canteen. Now, based off of a plenty of pictures that I have, the canteen never seems to be worn on the belt, even though there is a D-ring with a loop on the belt that you will commonly see in the front left next to the bayonet. Um, you can clip it to that, but uh, it seems to be rarely done, maybe perhaps for marching or something when you could have quick access to water, you wanted it, so you put it on the front. Um, border guards seem to always have it on the front, too. Um, but a lot didn't seem to be wearing it all the time, and so I figured it must just go in the BMP or the BTR or something. But before I bought the bread bag, I realized that there is back a, uh, hold on, I'm gonna unzip this. Undo the latches here. To get to it. One second. Uh, inside the bread bag, after in the middle of the securing strap here, there is a D-ring. Now, um, why would there just be a D-ring there? Well, <laughs> canteen always had a clip, World War II and up, and so it's common sense that it would go right there. I haven't seen any pictures of it there, but I have seen pictures of people with their canteen in the bread bag pocket sticking out. And so I figured, well, you know, it must go with the bread bag. And I'm almost completely certain that it does. I mean, it makes perfect sense. But as I said again, that some of the information just hasn't come out yet. So you would just attach it to the bread bag. Like so. And you have your canteen hanging on it as well. Then you do your straps again. Uh, <coughs> and there you have it. There's your Romanian bread bag set up.
carries a whole lot of your, your basic um, infantry needs. And then if you were to go more heavy marching or so, you'd have your, your rucksack and you'd put your helmet on the back of that and probably put, be putting your shelter have around it, um, have ties to go around it, and you wouldn't have it on your bread bag. But this would be something they'd carry more for light, but a lot of the times they wouldn't even carry this. They'd leave it in the, their APCs. Um, one last thing is the bread bag is secured through just a shoulder strap, so it goes over your shoulder and on your side like a satchel. There are no belt loops to go on your belt or anything. Um, all of it relies on your shoulder, which, in my opinion, probably would get tiring after a while. But, oh well, it's still a really secure, nice system. I like it. Um, you put it on your right side, so it would go on your left shoulder. The strap would go on your left shoulder, and you'd wear it. Um, uh, it would go on your right side. Your gas mask bag would go on the left. And so... That's about does it. That is your basic Romanian infantry bread bag setup. And tune in for more awesome Cold War collections from our members and videos. And if you like, please leave a like. If you don't like it, well, you know, hit don't like. If you don't, you know, it still helps. Um, comment if you have any questions. And subscribe to Cold War Collectors if you like the content. Want more? Thank you.